What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another battle video. We have this time new versus older. It's I mean still pretty old, but not really old. So it's gonna be Toon Chaos, Eternity Code, and two random blisters, I think Savage Strike and Infinity Chasers, maybe, versus eight or nine cross soul, nine judgment of the light, and two dimension of chaos. So we have ghost rares versus collectors and starlight rares teaming up in one because they never win. So we're gonna we're gonna put their forces together so maybe they can win. And let's see what we can pull. And in this video, I'll be giving away these three cards, yet more cards from that guy who gave away cards to you guys. So here we go. More Eternity Code Ultra Rares and a Link Cross, which is, I'm from Eternity Code, but still pretty valuable, pretty awesome. Make sure you guys like the video and are subscribed for a chance to win those cards. All you have to do is let me know in the comments, who do you think's gonna win? Is it going to be Collector's Rares and Starlights finally pulling through? Or Ghost Rare is going to win again? So let me know. And let's get into this. Toon Chaos didn't treat us too well in our last video. Hopefully, these will bounce back and pull something good. All right, come on. Blackluster Soldier, Collector's Rare would obviously be our number one choice. Fry for Sabretooth, okay. Toon World. We didn't even pull a Pot of Desires last time, so that was rough. We do have some Dimension of Chaos, our number one pack. The reason I'm still opening that is I want the last Ultimate Rare. I think it's the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. I don't. I haven't pulled that in Ultimate Rare yet. I've pulled everything else. Fright for Factory. And then, of course, Cross Souls and Judgment of Light. We want to pull those Epic Ghost Rares and Ultimate Rare cover cards. Here we go. Eternity Code Blisters. You guys know how this usually turns out. But this is the video for redemption. This is a redemption video. So that these packs can finally do something. Pull something good. Like right here. Here we go. Nemesis flag. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Parallel Exceed, our favorite common. Alright. Oh wait, no, I just have one of those. Judgment of the Light it is. Maybe we can pull that good common. What was it called again? Mecha Phantom Beast Cold Wing. Alright, I think it's a short print because I haven't pulled it yet. Limit Dragon. Archfiend Cavalry. Alright, it wasn't in that one, so slow start over there for for both, actually. Let's see if we can get hot. A collector's rare will obviously turn up the heat in here. Oh my goodness, this is like. Oh, I was just grabbing it. <laughs> Never mind. I've got so many blisters over there. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Make sure you guys hit the like button for luck. We really want a collector's rare this time. Let's go. Micro coder. Okay. Code generation. All right. Let's go with a dimension of chaos. Our number one set. We haven't pulled any fire from it recently, but we also pulled so many good cards. You know, you can't really complain. Skilled red magician. Ig Ignite reload. This is one I haven't pulled too much. And then we got the Yada right there. Ignite reload. Ultra rare. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card. Kind of looks like a Power Ranger. Ultra rare. I don't remember what he's worth, really, because we haven't pulled him much. Here we go. Opening blisters is a little bit tedious, but I'm doing my best to do it quickly. Whew, here we go. Come on. Blackluster Soldier. Magician of Hope. Pot of Desires, finally. Decent rare. Okay, let's go with Cross Souls. There's a lot of good cards in Cross Souls. We would love to pull the Ghost Ogre again. I pulled it once. I would love to pull it again. It'd be great. Infernoid Deviati. Pulled that guy a few times. Pretty cool, though. Ultra rare. So we're doing a little bit better. All right. Let's pull something to Chaos. It's up to you. Up to you to pull something good. I think most of the packs are Toon Chaos. And then there's like five Eternity Code and two of the other ones. Let's do this. Blackluster Soldier. Is it a sign? Even though it's in every pack. <laughs> basically magician of hope pot of desires again okay we're doing good on the rares at least judgment of the light star eater is our number one goal oh wow probably gonna do a search for the star eater trap tricks wait which one is the good rare all oh, right this is the good one okay this is the good one so that's a good rare it's about a dollar thirty that is not bad at all Pretty solid rare pull. I mean, that's all we can ask for at this point. With the pulls I've been having since I started opening. Which is not all in this video, but my luck today in general. Okay. 
Team Chaos, come on. It's been dry for us. Can we get something? Valkyrie Sigrun. Signet. Oh my goodness. Let's go with Cross Souls again. Clear Wing Synchro or Ghost Ogre. Either one, we're freaking out. Let's go. Melodious. Galaxy Cyclone. I didn't know that originally came in Cross Souls. That's pretty cool. That is a nice Seeker Rare. That's awesome. So that's a good pull. I will take that all day. Secret Rare pull. Now let's go to Eternity Code. We've only opened one of these. Didn't hit anything, so unsurprisingly. But maybe this is the chance to get something. Here we go. Whew. Evil Eye. Red Rain. Man. Eternity Code just does not like us. Okay, Judgment of the Light. We're opening 40 packs, by the way, this video. So pretty big opening. Might be a little bit longer. Probably not too long, because I opened pretty fast. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. There's the good the good common. $2 common. And the Intercept Tomato. You can't, lo can't not love that guy. All right. Toon Chaos. Come on. So far, no hits. Literally no hits. Just rares. That's the best we've gotten. We've gotten two rares that are decent. All right. Come on. Is it a sign? Blackluster Soldier. I'm going to say it every time until we pull it. Infernoid Night Raynod. That's a good hit. That's like 20 something bucks. That is a very good one. That's the good Infer Infernoble. Sorry, not Infernoid. Infernoble Knight. That is the better one. The other guy's name is like Reynold or something like that. He's not as good. All right, let's do our last dimension of chaos. Maybe we can pull the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Still the one I need. He is a fusion. Pretty cool. Let's go. Super Soldier Ritual, nice. Oh, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. The best secret rare in the set. Wow, unless you, unless um, Scarlight has passed it. Yeah, so Cosmo Dark Destroyer, that's a really good pull. So this just heat, this just got really hot in here all of a sudden. That is nice, Cosmo Dark Destroyer, there it is. Dimension of Chaos, coming through for us again. I just think, I think they just took the lead back, honestly. All right. Time for Eternity Code to hit a starlight, and then we can flip. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ooh, Gearsu! The Orcus Mech Knight. Here we go. We finally hit a good secret. I actually hit this guy when I opened the box early for someone. They sent it in, and I hit this guy, and I hit the... Uh, Another good one. At the time, it was 100 bucks, and I was like, oh, that's probably a good pull. And everybody was like, dude, it's 100 bucks." Now I think it's down at 30 40 range, but still incredible pull. That is awesome. There we go, Eternity Code. Finally got us something good. All right, so it got really good in here. It got really good. Here we go. Flying Sea. The Atmosphere. Bajingi Turtle. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Check them out. What is this? That's hilarious. All right, so pretty much everything has hit something. Well, Judgment of the Light and Cross Souls haven't really hit anything. Cross Souls did hit a Secret Rare, so I can't complain. That's three Secret Rares now. Three Secrets in this video is nothing to complain about. Now we just need a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, and Collector Rare. To have them all. Here we go. Eternal Chaos and Dwarf Star. Cross Souls, you can pull us the Ultimate or the Ghost. Can we do it? We have Ultra Rare too, yeah, so we have Super Ultra, yeah, and we have Secret Rare, obviously, Fiend Grieving, Fright for Factory, and Magma Dragon. So yeah, we have, we have three more rarities we need that we can pull. We've already got Rare and Common, of course. Here we go, Collector Rare, let's do this. Pull every rarity. Chaos Sorcerer, Fright for Meister, and Toon World, okay. Judgment of the Light. Here we go. Let's pull something good. Star Eater. Whoa, that, that pack's falling apart. Here we go. Jingi Wolf. Star Seraph Scout. Underworld Fighter. Mecha Phantom Beast. Halyard. And Lighthouse. Okay. Can this Eternity Code pay off? Where did I even get these Eternity Code? I'm trying to remember. I think No, I bought them at Target. Right, right. I bought them when I got those mystery products, so that, that target run was pretty nice. If I had opened those all at once, that would have been pretty good opening. Well, actually, the Toon Chaos so far hasn't really done anything. Area, the Water Charmer, that's a decent card. People like that one. 
Parallel Lake Seed. We'll put it over down here. Not Probably not in front of Orcus, the Mech Knight. All right, Cross Souls. You guys, man, it's raining hard outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's pretty loud. It sounds nice and relaxing, honestly. Here we go. Doom Dog and Dice Diversity. Come on, Tomb Chaos. I mean, you gave us an Ultra Rare, it's true, but like just one Ultra Rare, is that all you're going to give us? If you include last video, it hasn't been very good. One Ultra Rare between both videos. Here we go. Cyframe Gear Gamma. Tune Harpy Lady, that's actually really hard to pull. I, I was pulling like two per case and crap. Not not per case, sorry, per box. No, one per box. No, it's like for every few boxes. All right, Gamma's not bad. Put those aside. Judgment of the Light, back at it. And pull more good cards. Umble Horror, Will of the Wisp. Mecha Phantom Beast. Fujim Fidel. And Elfin. All right, let's go back to our Eternity Code. It finally gave us a good card, so if it gives us two, I'm going to be surprised, honestly, but... I'm not going to complain if it gives us a Prismatic or a Crazy Secret or something. Nemesis Flag, Link Burst, Deep Sea Sentry, all right. Cross Souls, let's go. Fair Wing Synchro, can we do it? Hopefully we can. Fry for Chimera. Okay. Cross Souls is being a little slow on us. Come on, 2 Chaos, give us something good. Let's do this. Black Luster Soldier, Collector Rare. Let me know if you guys want to see more Tune Chaos. I do have six more booster boxes. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet, but maybe I'll open them. Here we go. Black Cluster Soldier. Gear Breed. Chaos Base. Okay. Pot of Desires. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good pack. Can't complain about that. We get a play set of Pot of Desires in this video. And a Chaos Base. So not the worst. Not the worst showing from Tune Chaos. All right. Cross Souls is added again. I really don't... Man, this is a... Tough decision. There's a lot of good pulls in these. You guys are going to have to let me know who won. Pryfer. Alright. Let's go with Toon Chaos again. It's going to be pretty tough. Gearsu and Infern Noble Knight are like 50, 60 bucks. Cosmo Dark Destroyer is maybe like 30. Um, so maybe the, maybe the Starlight Ghosts are ahead right now. If they pull a Collector Rare, they'll be in great shape. Eternal Chaos. We really need that Star Eater Ghoster right here. That would really change things. Here we go. Colt Wing. Oh, there we go. Just right off the bat. Good common. That'll help. Trap Tricks. Oh, there's the good uh, the good rare, too. And an Ultra Rare. Oh, that was a pack right there. The good rare, a good common, and an Ultra Rare. So that's a good pack to help come back. Oh, see what I did there? How about that Ryman? Wow. Okay. Last pack of Eternity Code. Only had five packs. Pulled a secret rare gear suit. Can we pull something else epic like a starlight? One of you guys sent me a video and you apparently pulled your second starlight from Eternity Code. And what it was pulling the effect builder, which was insane. So that was awesome. Here we go. Nemesis Corridor. Okay, that's that's all the luck we can ask for, for of Eternity Code. We can't be upset. Cross Souls, here we go. Man, this is gonna be a close battle. Cross Souls, if you can pull something big, they'll really be helpful so every samurai elf hammer and melody of the awakening dragon i think it's like at least a dollar i mean that's decent that'll be decent in the battle okay so now we have some random cards okay so now we have some random packs like infinity chasers and savage strike savage strike we'd pull the huge what is it Borload savage dragon is that what it's called like 70 dollar ultra rare or even more maybe maybe like a hundred by now i think it might be a it I don't think they've actually announced the reprint yet, so it's probably still crazy. Oh, there we go. Good super rare. Magician's left hand. Witchcrafter Skull and Hain. We get this every time we open Infinity Chasers. It's crazy. This is a $9 to $10 super. And then we got a Witchcrafter Scroll. I don't know about this card, but that's crazy. Wow, what a pack. Because it had this as well, which is over a dollar. So this opening has gotten crazy. We're pulling some insane value. Okay, Judgment of the Light. The Ghost is definitely behind right now. After all these pulls. Here we go. Judgment of the Light. You need something big. Tour of the Forbidden Realms. Ujinki Ward. 
hard lard and <gasps> chicken lattes, chicken chicken lattes, chicken lattes, chicken chicken lattes, chicken lattes, chicken chicken lattes. Yeah, and that's another reason we need to search for the star eater. Imagine how many times we'll pull chicken lattes. It'll be absolutely incredible. We're obviously setting chicken lattes aside. Okay, three packs left. Two tune chaos, two tune, and one savage strike. Here we go. Already with the lead. This is just to pad the lead. All right, trash can is overflowing. Tune Chaos, here we go. Curse of Dragonfire, Gear Breed, Mass Hero Acid, Pot of Desires, decent, and Mass Hero Vapor. Okay. Cross Souls, you definitely need something. Really need something for the comeback. Rival Rebounder. Alright, Rival Rebounder, Phantom Griffin, Codon, Lizard Draw. Sea Dragons, Dreadnought Dunker, and Doomdog Octhros. Okay, let's go into the Savage Strike First Edition pack that I found for three bucks, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty tough pack to find because of the Boral Load. So maybe we can get lucky and out of one pack pull it. That would be pretty insane. Here we go. Definitely, the, I'm pretty sure it's definitely the most valuable. There's another good secret in here. I can't remember what it is. But uh, yeah, probably not going to get it. Whoa. Thunderclap Monk. Sunlight Wolf, that's a decent card, isn't it? They reprinted it in OTS. It's probably a decent card, so cool. Sunlight Wolf, we'll put that aside. All right, last two packs. Judgment of the Light is, is going to need to come back, so we'll start with two Chaos. Let's just end it with a Blackluster Soldier and just annihilate them so that even if they pull a Ghost Rare, they're done. That's That would be really that'd be really crazy. Pull a Blackluster Soldier, Collector Rare, and then a Ghost Rare. All right, come on. Which is the Black Forest? Tune Harpy Lady, pretty good pull. Can't complain about that. So all those blisters, none of them had a collector rare, which is rough. But the ratios are pretty tough. One in 72 to one in 96 packs, so pretty tough. Tune Harpy Lady, okay. The last pack, a ghost rare could win it. Potentially a nice ultimate rare, if it's like the Star Eater, maybe. Here we go, reverse glasses. Intercept Tomato, the Atmosphere, XYZ Agent, Moonlight Dance Ritual, and a Shape Sister, so we did get an ultra rare. I think this might be okay. I can't remember. It's not going to win it for him, but pretty decent. All right, let's go over what we got. An insane amount of good pulls. All right, for the ghost side, we got two of the $2 common, the Colt Wing. We got a nice $1 rare Super Soldier Ritual. Two Mermelio, I think it's $1.30 or so. Melody of the Waking Dragon Super. Shape Sister Ultimate Rare. Ultimate. Ultra Rare. Mecha Phantom Beast. Aeroskun or something. Infernoid Deviata. Ignite Reload. All Ultra Rares, so four Ultras. Then we got two secrets, Galaxy Cyclone and Cosmo Dark Destroyer. So really good pulls from that side, but couldn't quite get ahead of the other side. And for the Starlight and Collector Rare side, we pulled a Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf Rare. We got a side gra Shy Frame Gear Gamma, three Pot of Desire, so a playset. That's nice. Oh, four actually. Never mind. Eerie of the Water Charmer, super rare. Nice pull. Secret Village of the Spellcasters, two Toon Harpy Ladies. Chaos Space Super Rare, Witchcrafter Hain, a nice $9 super. Infer Noble Knight, Raynaud, an incredible ultra. Secret Rare, Witchcrafter Skull, and a Gear Suit, the Orcus Mech Knight. So pretty awesome pulls. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you agree or disagree. Do you guys think that, who do you think won? And let me know if you agree with what I said. I think that Starlight and Collector Rare finally got the win. It was pretty epic. A lot of great pulls in this video. So hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you guys like the video for that epic giveaway. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>